Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a pretty quick um, haul from Sam's Club. I haven't been there in a while, um, just to kind of peruse and look and see what's new. And I found a few new things and wanted to show them with, to you. I spent $135 in some change. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. So I will start off up here. I was really excited to finally find hand soap. Um, the last time I, well actually my husband did a Sam's haul, he could not find any soap there and so they finally had it. This was $9.98 for four of them and let's see, they are 13 ounces each. You get two wild basil and lime, one sweet lemon and gardenia, and one blueberry and coconut. So when he went last time and couldn't find this soap, he ended up getting refills, um, getting a refill of this. And we really liked the scent, so I got another one. This one was, um, let me see, it was $7.48 for the refill, and it smells really, really good. Um, and so I decided to get another one as backup, just in case we're not able to find these again. Um, Harrison needed some diapers. The diapers were 40 bucks. Um, this is something that I've not seen before. I hadn't seen before. They are Kit Kat minis and they are little ice cream bars and they were on sale. Um, they were originally priced at $8.48 and they were, I think, $2.50 off. So they were $5 and something. Um, so I grabbed that. And then I saw this in one of their cases. It is uh, French onion butter with Asiago cheese. I mean, I tend to always get um, like garlic butter or, you know, um, this was different, um, something that I wanted to try. And the butter was $6.47. In addition to the garlic butter, they also had a sweet butter. I think it may have been honey. Um, but I wanted to try out this one because I love French onion and I also love Asiago cheese. And then I wanted to get their Southwestern or Southwest Chopped Salad Kit. Now, these have gotten a lot smaller and I'm not sure how long it's been, but I remember the bags being pretty big. This is small, this is 12 ounces and all of their little salad kits that I saw there were the same amount. And this little salad kit was Mm, I'm looking here on my receipt. It was $2.28. We needed some more fully cooked bacon. I feel like this package got smaller. You only get 72 slices, but this was $12.98, I think. Um, my husband wanted some more pork steaks for grilling. We like to grill these. So I got a package of those. You get one, two, three, you get five pork steaks for $6.68. And, and then this was a new item that's there just for a limited time. And this was $12.98. My husband and I, we both really like Asian food, Korean food. So these are beef barbecue, I'm sorry, these are Korean style barbecue beef carvers. So they're little strips of meat. And I think they're fully cooked. I'm not sure, I don't see that on here. But you can serve it over rice or as a stir fry or whatever. Um, but it sounded really good to me. And you get two one pound pack pouches. And then for some reason, I'm not sure why, this ground beef was on sale. Grass fed ground beef, 85% lean, 15% fat. These were on sale for $2.98. They are one pound packages. These were even cheaper than um, like their 80-20 ground beef that was not ground, that was not grass fed. So not sure why these were on sale, but I was happy. I grabbed four packages. I'm gonna throw these in our freezer. And then the last thing that I picked up, which was also just a seasonal item, um, were, was the Uno Pizzeria and Grill Chicago Thin Crust. Um, and you get three pizzas and they come with onions, green peppers, mushrooms, ground beef, pepperoni, sausage, mozzarella, and Romano cheeses. I've never actually had Uno cheese, Uno pizza before, so I hope it's good. I know they're famous for their deep dish, but this is what they had, and I think this was $11.98. It was just under $12, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. 
I have no idea how I'm going to fit this frozen stuff in my freezer because it's already packed, but I couldn't pass up some of this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, just a few things um, that I picked up from Sam today, but I still wanted to show it to you just in case you're interested in getting any of this for yourself. Again, if you like this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.